In today's video, I'm going to talk about the pros and cons of choosing dentistry or medicine. Hello and welcome back to the channel. My name is Dr. Ashley Hilton of futuredoc.co. I often teach students about how to get into medicine and dentistry. And one of the questions that I get asked a lot is whether I should choose dentistry or medicine as a profession or something to study at university. And actually I'm in quite a unique position because I hold degrees in both dentistry and medicine and have worked as a dentist and a doctor. And I'm usually in a good position to be able to answer that question. So I'd like to use this video to kind of compare what the big differences are between medicine and dentistry and I will caveat this by saying just because I say that uh, one either dentistry or medicine is more of one particular aspect it doesn't necessarily mean that the opposite is true of the other for example if I were to say that dentists earn a lot of money it doesn't mean that medics don't earn a lot of money it's just relative to the earning disparity between the two so let's start with medicine and look at the pros and cons of that particular choice of career and degree to study one of the main pros for me of medicine is the impact that you have on people's lives. Now again, that isn't to say that dentistry doesn't have an important role in people's lives, but it doesn't offer the same life-saving ability and massive impact that you can have on people's life. And it definitely is something that leaves you feeling good about yourself at the end of the day. Both medicine and dentistry have career pathways where you follow training programs and that doesn't stop after graduating, but I think medicine more so than dentistry is something that forces you, it's ever-changing, it's vast and um, you need to really embrace lifelong learning and constant learning and because of that it forces continuous development and growth. Again, not to say that that doesn't occur in dentistry but definitely in medicine it is more prominent and, and more of a feature of medical training. One of the main benefits for me is the sociable side of working in a hospital in medicine. Now, I don't think there's any other environment in the world where you get people from all different walks of life, doing all different jobs and you have to interact with all of them. And I really like the fact that that's very sociable and kind of keeps you in the loop with what's going on in the world. It keeps you very current. It keeps you quite young spirited as well. And working in the bigger teams that you typically do in hospital medicine gives you that kind of social quota and human contact contact uh, for the day. Dentistry does offer a lot of career options, however medicine has over 70 specialties and you can really pick the thing that absolutely suits you and, and I certainly believe that birds of a feather flock together with, with medical specialties so you definitely have certain character types that lean towards certain specialties and you can really find the one that's right for you to suit your lifestyle, your interests, the way you like to work, the type of patients that you like to work with and everything kind of according to what you're like as a person and as a doctor. Some of the cons of medicine are definitely the demand that it places on your time. Uh, while you're training and while you're going through your medical career and studying, you will have to inevitably sacrifice some things. I have definitely had to miss birthdays, in some cases even weddings because I've had exams or things that I just shifts, for example, that I just simply can't get out of. And that's not to say that dentistry doesn't come with sacrifices, but especially when you're working, it comes with a more nine to five lifestyle that really you can create a lot more easily than hospital medicine, which usually places on a rotor that you don't really get much control over like you do with dentistry. I won't go too much into the failings of the NHS because I think on the whole, it's a great establishment and especially during COVID times has shown its strengths and how it's supported the country a lot better than other countries. So I will just say that people do get frustrated with the NHS it's one of the biggest employers in the world and it's a massive massive organization so will come with its problems like any large organization but on the whole I think it's a great thing but there are some things that people do get frustrated about and one of the other downsides of medicine I would say is the length of time that it takes you to finally specialize you will do your degree which will take anything from five to six years then you'll do two years of foundation training you can if you're doing a surgical specialty then you have to do your general general surgical training and then you specialize so you could even be in your mid 30s to 40s before you actually become a consultant and the specialist in the thing that you want to do. Dentistry on the other
the hand is very different. I feel like medical school is kind of preparing you to almost be able to just go out there and, and function as a doctor. And it's a bit like your driving test, they say sometimes, where you learn to pass the test and then actually the real learning starts when you actually go out there and drive. And I feel in some ways it's similar for medicine. Whereas dentistry, the dental course typically, you're actually doing dentistry all the way throughout the course, just with less and less supervision, doing more and more complex procedures. And when you come out of dental school, you're actually pretty much ready to go you go into dental foundation training where you are essentially there treating patients and given the responsibility to treat them yourself whereas uh, medicine you start your learning and you start your practicing really only once you graduate so on to dentistry now the pros and cons for that well on the positive side definitely dentists earn more money when I started at King's College London one of the lecturers did say you never see a poor dentist and it's so true maybe today they're not earning quite as much as they used to do in the bad old days uh, when practices could charge a lot of money for less treatment. Uh, things are changing but dentists still do very well, still earn good money all within the nine to five time frame if they want to do so. Another great point about dentistry is that it does allow you to own your own business. You're essentially encouraged to do so if you want to work in private practice which is sometimes one of the more favorable ways to work ethically. Some people say that it is better to work privately where you can give people what they actually need and charge them for it if you do so morally and don't ask them to have treatments that aren't indicated or appropriate. Also with dentistry, one of the things that you can do is really embrace your creative side because you imagine that um, the aesthetics of dentistry is so important. So it's important to make teeth look nice and it's good to have a bit of an artistic eye. And also the business itself allows you to be creative. You have to do marketing, you have to try lots of things to promote your business and that allows you to let that creative side of you flourish which people will find very fulfilling. As I've alluded to before time is really important. Most dentists you can completely create your own hours so you can work nine to five um, most people do work nine to five. There is the option to do emergency dentistry or out of hours, or if you go into MaxVax, that's essentially doing the more hospital medicine side of things. But a typical general dentist or a GDP, general dental practitioner, will work within the nine to five period. It's a lot more of a build your own career. Similar to what general practitioners can do, they can really be a, a bit more, have a bit more control over their hours and build their career and their work week as they like a little bit more than your average hospital medicine doctor. And the final main positive that I think about dentistry is kind of what I said before, how when you come out of dental school, you are pretty much ready to go. Most people are recommended to do the equivalent of foundation training for dentistry, which is one year of dental foundation training called DFT for short. And um, you don't actually have to do that. You can go straight into a private practice. I personally wouldn't necessarily want to do that because I think it's quite scary going straight out of dental school into private practice where you're expected to perform straight away. You're not in a safe space where you're mentored and kind of allowed to learn. So you can do that. And if you're feeling very bold and confident in yourself, you can go straight away. So that's one of the things of dentistry where essentially once you have the degree, you're, you're ready to go. You don't feel like medicine where you have to do foundation training. You have to do at least a year of, of foundation training in medicine to get your full GMC registration. So unlike dentistry where it's kind of an option, medicine you have to do some further training after your degree to even be allowed to practice in the UK. And finally, let's look at the downsides of dentistry. Now, as I say, all of these points are relative, but I think in dentistry, there is more of a propensity to, to find the job less fulfilling and get bored. I do know a lot more dentists who say they are bored at work than doctors who say so. However, I do, I must say that I feel that it is really down to the individual and it's more of an attitude problem than a, a trait of the job really because I think if you allow yourself to get bored that is your fault and you're either suffering from a lack of imagination or haven't found a way to make your own job interesting or maybe you're in the wrong job and it's time to change but ultimately it is your responsibility to to make your job interesting for yourself and find something that you like now that might sound a bit harsh but I think that, that ultimately you have the choice and you're responsible for creating your life so either a doctor or a dentist who finds it dissatisfying can find ways to make it more interesting for themselves. Dentistry is a much more build your own career type thing. So you can definitely find ways to make the job interesting and increase the variety, but you will find it less ready-made and less easily accessible than in medicine where you have almost immediate access to multiple specialties and quite early on you're forced
also decide which one you want to go into. And finally, the downside of dentistry is that you do get a lot of litigation. At the moment of recording this, UK dentists are the highest rate of sued dentists in the entire world. I'm not sure, I think it's kind of like a ripple effect from America where they used to be the highest sued, but that doesn't necessarily mean that doctors don't get sued a lot either. GPs, so for doctors, general practitioners, are the highest sued specialty at the moment. That may change, and obviously the litigation in dentistry may change at the moment, but currently litigation in dentistry is a lot higher than it is for doctors. So that concludes my for and against for dentistry and medicine to help you decide which career is best for you. I think the one takeaway message is, is that you really have to understand what work life will be like, what the career will be like for you, and know what you want personally with your values and what suits you best. There's no point in saying, now that you're happy to put in ridiculous amounts of hours, work nights, weekends, miss out on things if you really don't love and care about medicine. I think it's very easy when you're young or when you're starting your career to think prospectively that it will be fine, but you've got to understand the reality of working those hours, giving that sacrifice. Now, for a lot of people and for myself, I think it's totally worth it. I love my, my job as a doctor. I also love my, my job as a dentist, but I think you have to understand that there's a reality to sacrificing that amount of time that you have to be going in with open eyes for and understand what you're committing to before you start the degree. Another thing you have to really appreciate is, is money really important to you? If you want to be, for example, an orthodontist who has a successful practice, you could be earning in the millions per year, whereas a very good general dental practitioner can be earning probably in the region of about 300 grand. However, that the range for that is quite varied. Whereas, you know, a hospital consultant, the starting salary is 72 grand a year. And if you'll be satisfied with that, then that's absolutely fantastic because that's a lot of money as it is and enough to make a very comfortable living off, but you've got to be realistic about what you like and what's important to you. And if that higher amount for less hours is a crucial factor in what you're doing, or you feel that you'd like to be doing this something a bit more life-saving and you're willing to sacrifice the time, well then maybe medicine is a lot more for you. But I think the most important thing in this is to know yourself, understand what values you have, what things you want to get out of a career, what kind of a life you want to build in the future, and pick a career that's going to be more suited to any of those values that you hold. And one last thing, if you're applying to medical school or dental school, I have lots of videos on my channel that can help you successfully apply. So click subscribe in the bottom corner and turn on notifications because I release weekly videos to help you. And if you're doing, for example, the UCAT or the BMAT, I have a full series giving you everything you need to know to succeed in that. So make sure you check out some of the videos and make sure you subscribe. And I'll see you in the next video and thanks for watching. Working in the bigger teams that you typically typically